Hey guys, Magnus Rubber here, bringing you my promised, um, I honestly didn't think I was going to have this out in time, but looks like I have, uh, this is my top, top kind of buildings, characters, uh, buildings and characters really, um, that I want to be added into Tapped Out. Uh, haven't really got any decorations, sorry guys, because honestly, to be honest with you, decorations is a hard thing to do. I uh, wouldn't be able to find uh, decorations, to be honest with you. And the reason I haven't got costumes is because, honestly, I think um, there's no decent Christmas costumes I can really think of. But they're going to add loads anyway. I mean, the ones I can think of, like, maybe, like, a Nutcracker Bart or a Nutcracker Millhouse. Maybe, like, an, uh, there's a one of Otto dressed as Santa. But, you know what? Uh, and he, well, I say that, and he's also getting high on, like, a pipe. <laughs> On like I don't know, but honestly though I don't think they should add any costumes. I I hope they don't. I mean I I would like I prefer would prefer it if they wouldn't, but uh, they're going to anyway. But um, these are kind of if I was to make a prediction for costumes, I'd be here all day. So I'm not gonna bother. Um, but these are kind of like the top. Uh, I've got twelve buildings, uh, ten characters and just real quick uh, the, f the only decoration I've got which kind of kind of fits into buildings as well is actually the burning Christmas tree now this is in the one the, the one when Bart obviously burns the Christmas tree and uh, Christmas is kind of ruined for the Simpsons family um, I think they should have the, the, the burning tree I think that would be cool it kind of fits it with the burning bush and all that um, uh, yeah well, I suppose we'll go through the buildings first. Uh, now, uh, yeah, we'll go through the buildings first. So the very first building, so we'll get into it, is the Hallow Roach Apartments. I feel like I'm kind of cheating with this one because this one's in the file. However, I think it'd be really cool if they were to add the Hallow Roach Apartments actually into the game. Uh, the reason I don't know why, the reason I put it into Christmas is that obviously it was the first leaked as a Christmas building, so it kind of makes sense to add it into Christmas eventually. But uh, I don't know about that one. That's probably that. That's a maybe. Uh, but seeing as in the files, it is completely possible. Uh, number two is actually uh, you forget me not. <laughs> I mean, this is quite funny. This is actually a Halloween episode building, but it would fit into Christmas obviously because it's decorated Christmassy. Plus, it kind of uh, it's basically a last a last minute gift shop. Um, and, you know, it could fit in pretty well. Uh, number three is the costume shop. Uh, not the Halloween HQ. Obviously, there is the Halloween HQ as well, which is like a party one. Uh, but this is a costume, a general costume shop. Obviously, it's Christmas, so you know, you could dress up as your Santa, your, your elf, you know, whatever. You, you could dress up as that kind of stuff. So, uh, makes makes sense to um, maybe get a costume shop to do so. Uh, the next thing... On my list is the Tahiti Hut. Now, basically, in one of the... It wasn't really a Christmassy episode. Well, it kind of was. It was like a Christmassy episode where it turned out Grandpa and Jasper were all kind of, like, relaxed uh, with Cyrus Simpson, who I believe is Grandpa's brother, but I'm not too sure. Um, and basically, Cyrus had all these kind of, like... Uh, like uh, I don't know what they were, what ethnicity they were, but basically had loads of um, wives on this little island, and he was in like, you know, they were all relaxing. It wasn't a Christmas episode, uh, so I kind of thought maybe they could add that, but I mean, I mean, it would be a bit of a, it wouldn't be the best, but that's that's just a suggestion. Obviously, it would come with Cyrus Simpson. Uh, the next one is the South Pole Research Station. Uh, the reason I say this is I, I want them to have some sort of storyline involved with the snow. I was thinking maybe with the South Pole Research Station they could use this to like in like increase the snow or reduce the snow and maybe have characters send them there to like, I don't know, not crafting but similar to the crafting stuff where they build up snow and maybe that makes the buildings give off, I don't know, makes times times is the event currency or something i don't want like crafting but i don't mind that kind of stuff where you have to actually build it up as long as it's not very tedious uh the next kind of one two three four five are actually uh no four sorry can't count and uh, the next four are actually um these are buildings which are very very likely to come into tapped out now you'll see the reason now basically these four buildings that we're starting off with victor's secret these four buildings are all uh the springfield heights promenade uh buildings they're buildings on that promenade and wouldn't you know they're all christmas buildings hmm so i wonder why they've given us the heights update you know two weeks a week before the christmas update 
but they've added a promenade with no buildings for it. Well, I think it's kind of obvious these buildings are probably going to come into the game. Uh, however, they might not, but I, I think it makes a lot of sense. So the first one we've got Victor's Secret, obviously, is Parody on Vic Victoria's Secret. we got Things Unnecessary. Um, I'm not even too sure what, I, again, I'm British, so I wouldn't know what some of these are. Uh, we got the Prodgy, Prodgy Bar, Prodgy Bar? Prodgy Bar, maybe? The Prodgy Barn, sorry. The Prodgy Barn, and then we have Abra Crumble and Rich. Abra Crumble and Rich, yeah. I don't know what the last three are, because, like, like I said, I'm British, so I wouldn't know. Uh, they're probably American stores. Um... So yeah, again, like I said, makes sense to add that all them in, you know, with the Springfield Promenade, uh, Springfield Heights Promenade, and uh, they likely will. Uh, that's kind of like that's my prediction side of it. Um, uh, the next one is Hailstones. I really want them to add Hailstones in. It's again the sound files are in the game, so it makes sense to add them. Uh, to add it, uh, but they might not. But hey ho. Um. But again, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, go next to the mall. I wish they would. I wish they would do something more with the mall, though. Uh, and the eleventh building uh, is actually the salt. It's not kind of. It's kind of a decoration, though. I, you could think of it as a decoration. I'd like it to be a building. It's the salt Cylon. Uh, basically, it's the big Cylon that Homer crashes into. I know the image is blurry. Sorry, guys. Uh, the the Cylon that Homer crashes into when the kids are all stranded in the school with the snow, and then obviously the salt reduces the snow. I was thinking maybe you could use that in this whole snow thing. I think they should focus it around snow. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, whatever. I don't know though. And then the number twelve is a. Uh, Bukako, Bukin, Bukakinios, Bukin, Bukakinos, whatever, Bukin, that one, uh, I've mentioned it before, it's in my top 10 uh, wanted buildings, uh, big bookstore, massive bookstore, Christmas coming, buy us some books as a gift, that's my logic towards it, um, and then we come into the characters, I got t 10 characters again, some of these are very obvious ones that should be added, again, others are just kind of, eh, it could fit in. Um, so the first, uh, the first character I want to be added is the Happy Little Elves. Um, they could, I would prefer them to be playable though, uh, especially with all of them. They could be non-playable, but I wouldn't be very happy with that. So the first, this is kind of a sub one, so I've got more than twelve, uh, more than um, ten characters really. So the first one is obviously Moldy. He's the first Happy Little Elf, kind of older one. He'll fit in. Uh, the next one's Bubbles again, you know, the two book teeth. He's kind of cute. Uh, the next one is Yendor. Um, how? Uh, yeah, Yendor. Well, well, yeah, Yendor. Uh, the next one is uh, Doofy. Uh, yeah, next one is Doofy. Uh, again, pretty funny looking one. And then Cheery, another funny looking one. Again, it's a it's a thing on the Smurfs, obviously. Um, and then they could have Brainy. He's not the he's not a very big one. I think he was in only in one episode. There's Brainy, but um, they could add him, I guess. Uh, but the the other main two is uh, the Curious Bear Cub and and obviously Captain Cook, who's kind of like the bad guy. Uh, they're the main ones I think they should add, uh, especially the Curious Bear Cub. I think he's dead cute. And uh, Captain Cook, he'd be maybe they can make like a conflict between the elves and make like a little story with the. Uh, Springfield does help or something. I don't know. Um, the next one we have is Cyrus Simpson. Obviously, I've mentioned him. Uh, number three is uh, Don Brock Bro Brodka. Brodka? Yeah, Brodka. Don Brodka. Uh, Don Brodka was the mall manager or more security. Sorry, not more manager. More security. The one that kind of caught Bart and said he couldn't come back. And then obviously Bart went to have a picture taken with his family. And then he ended up getting in trouble. More security. Makes sense. Christmas coming. You need to enhance more security. Uh, so it'd be cool to add him. Uh, number four is Santa Claus himself. Uh, I mean, this is a no-brainer. They added him in the last update and he just didn't stay. stay. For some reason, he disappeared after the update, which kind of annoyed me uh, because they added him and he was there for the whole event and then he just disappeared after. Uh, it's the same with Lyle in a way because Lyle was there for a bit. You could do some tasks with him and then he just disappeared. So they better add Santa back. Uh, number five. Now, this is a risky one. I want to put Jesus Christ. It's the true meaning of Christmas, if you get what I mean. Well... For Christians, anyway. I mean, Christmas, Christmas is generally a Christian holiday. So, adding Jesus could be an option. However, 
it's not Family Guy. It's not as jokey as Family Guy is, and I think it may be seemed as a bit offensive if they did. However, if they handled it right, it could be okay. Uh, I think I don't think anyone would have a problem. They, he's been in a few episodes, so it's not like they haven't done it before. It's not like he's a, just a it'd be something completely new. Uh, but I mean, it'd be cool to see Jesus in. Don't get me wrong. Uh, number six is Nibbles. Now, he's like the little hamster again. Uh, he was the one that S S Skinner sent for help when, uh, obviously, they were all snowed in. He sent him for help. So, he'd be a funny little thing to add in, I think. Um, anyway, uh, moving on. Number seven is Troy McClure. Again, my most requested character, as, uh, yeah, as I find out after. <laughs> um, my re most requested character. And honestly, the reason is, I think... he. He, he fit in anywhere. He could fit in in Halloween. He could fit in here. You know, they, they can make him fit in anywhere. I don't understand why they haven't added him yet. Maybe it's that for, for that reason. Maybe it's because he's like such a well-fitted character. But um, I just he's I, if they don't add him in Christmas, I'm gonna be a bit annoyed. Uh, especially if they don't add any characters. Like if they add us like a shitty little unknown character, like the stupid ha Halloween. Donut on legs. If they add something like that, I'm going to be truly annoyed. And number eight is Gil. Makes sense. I want Gil to be actually added as a proper character, by the way, guys. I don't want him to be this guy who gives you deals. And when he does give a deal, maybe his tasks just kind of go away. Um, and, you know, or maybe even if they don't go away, maybe it's just a speech thing and then suddenly, you know, um, the only way to access this deal is to go on the store. I mean, that makes sense. They don't have to actually have the character just come because, because of the deal. Um... I mean, same similar with Sideshow Bob, obviously, because you had to catch Sideshow Bob, and now he's in the game. Um, and then we have Raphael, who's number nine. Raphael makes sense again. He, again, he's another character you could literally fit in everywhere. He works everywhere. He'd work, he, he definitely worked in the mall before, so they could do something with that. Uh, Raphael is a very flexible character. Number ten is kind of not the best. It's Gabba with Arthur Crandall. I mean, uh, they're. Uh, they could do something there. Maybe they do a Christmas show or something. But they're not the best of ones to add. But I just thought I'd throw them in there. Because it would be cool if they did come in. Uh, but anyway guys. That is it for all my Christmas stuff. I hope you enjoyed my predictions. Uh, they mean 12 minutes long. 12, 13 minutes long. Not too bad of a video I think. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah. Tell me your comments for any other buildings I missed out. Uh, which you think should be added. And uh, maybe even tell me if you... What, how you felt about my list and so yeah cheers for watching guys uh, I'll see you next video and uh, I'm excited for Christmas yes bye